In this chapter we're talking about numbers and specifically we're talking about real numbers and we'll be going over certain properties of numbers, certain ideas and concepts and these are concepts you may have heard before, things like the commutative property or the associative property or the extremely important distributive property and we'll be uh, going over these ideas not just with numbers but also with variables because that is the main difference between algebra and the math that you've done before is now we're introducing variables into everything and we're going to see uh, in the next chapter that variables allow us to do things uh, extremely powerful things mathematically that we weren't able to do without them. And so we'll, we're going to first go over these concepts of numbers and express all of these concepts and see some examples of all of these concepts not just using numbers but also with variables. And the first is the commutative property and this is easiest to to state just with an example first. So watch this. If I say 12 plus 8, you can do that in your head. That's equal to 20. But clearly, 12 plus 8 is equal to 8 plus 12. Okay, in other words, if I do 12 plus 8 with the 12 first, it's the same thing as if I do 8 plus 12 with the 8 first. So the order doesn't matter. The same thing is true with multiplication. For example, 17 times 9. And I don't know off the top of my head what 17 times 9 is. But I do know that 17 times 9 will equal 9 times 17. The order doesn't matter. And we can state this idea as a general rule. In, in other words, instead of looking at these specific examples with those particular numbers, we can state this, this as a general idea using variables. And I'll say if A and B are real numbers, then A plus B is always going to equal b plus a. So instead of just these two numbers that we, we were using up here, a and b can be any numbers on the number line. So this captures that concept with all possible numbers. And I can say the same thing with multiplication. a times b is equal to b times a for any real numbers a and b. And in plain English, this just says that when you add two numbers, the order of the numbers doesn't matter. The result is the same regardless of the order, and that's true for multiplication also. When you're multiplying numbers, the order doesn't matter. And you probably already knew this, and you, it's helpful to know the name for this as well. This is called the commutative property. A mathematician would say that addition is commutative. Addition of real numbers is commutative, and multiplication of real numbers is commutative.